Hello everybody, yes with ya, and welcome back to another video. In this video, today we are going to be talking about how to make a like game sign for your Steel of Brain Rock game, or just for any game in general, you can use this for any game. Um, so yeah, we're going to get straight into this, it's going to look exactly like this, and of course, when we reach the goal, it's going to give you a reward by either spawning a thing or into your Steel of Brain Rock game. So let's get straight into this video. All right, so very simple as it is, you guys are actually gonna go into the description and just grab this model right here. You can download it, you can save it, open in studio, whatever's easier. If you're on Studio Lite, you should be able to do this as well. Um, I wanna thank you to all the members who are also in the Discord channel. Um, everyone who wants to join it, feel free to join up because we do a lot of stuff in here and I talk to you guys, anything you guys need. And um, yeah, it's just a good perk to have. So thank you guys very much who are part of the membership and I give you all the scripts and all that crap, but thank you guys. All right, so going into this, uh, very simple as it is, um, I am in my new game here. Uh, this is not the same one, but we're going to go to our toolbox. So once you get it, of course, you have your toolbox. should be right here, um, and I'm going to click OK. So in here, uh, basically, uh, there's a little readme. just talks about some things to ungroup. You can do that or just watch this. So very simple enough, we are going to do this right now. Um, now, guys, if you've been staying up to tune, we had a lot of stuff. I think the last video we talked about guaranteed rarities. So we're going to be adding to the signs folder. So very simple enough, go up here, grab this like sign, and you can either control C, control X, whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to drag it into here like this. Um, so once you do that, I'm going to actually just drag this model to in workspace and I'm going to put it like right here, um, probably just make it look good, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, and if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because I really appreciate everyone who is subscribed and it means a lot to me, you guys. So make sure to watch this video and be subscribed because that is a thing. Okay, okay, so yeah, you're just going to put it right here. So now it's against the wall, it looks pretty good. All right, so just like Steel Brain, it's starting to look pretty good here. Um, so in server script service, we're going to drag this right here. Okay, so just drag it to server script. Guys, you can just do control, you can do cut, you can do ungroup, whatever's easier for you guys. And then I'm just going to delete this right here because I don't need to since you're watching the video. So in here, basically, we have a services. Now, you guys are probably like, okay, we keep adding more and more to service service. Guys, I am at the end of this tutorials or whenever we're, we're doing things, I'm going to do a cleanup video and we're going to be making basically all of these scripts, but we're going to turn it into one, like one folder in here and it's going to be all modules, all that crap. So this is how we should be probably doing it in the first place, but we haven't been. So in here, we're going to be scripting services, uh, services manager. Okay. So I'm going to be talking about this and I'm going to make sure that I have it up here as well. So I don't mess this up with you guys. Um, even though this part was very simple, uh, but we're gonna get into this after the fact But um, yeah, and then we have a like service. Okay, so this is where it's a big script a little bit of a bigger script Nothing too crazy though um, with some of this crap, but I'm gonna like just show you right here So um, I'm gonna close these functions. I'm just gonna explain to them just using the text as it is um, And then yeah, okay So we're gonna have to do some programming. I guess let's go Let's go into the programming part so you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah so in here in services manager, we're going to do a very simple thing. Okay. So this is what we're going to be using for um, managing all the services, but you don't have to worry about it. I mean, you could technically do uh, require all the modules in this folder, but we're not going to be doing that. So services equals game get service. And we're going to go server script service, just like this. Um, and then we're going to do dot uh, service services like this. Okay. Once you get that, we're just going to go local like service equals require so we're acquiring this module right here you guys and we're gonna go uh services dot like service okay just like that then in here we are going to just go very simple so we can actually just say it like this so we can go this is going to be services um and then this is going to be initialization okay initialization uh, it's like that i hope that's how you spell it okay so task no, yeah so actually it's funny is it popped up right there you saw how it did dot in it you normally can do that, but we're not going to be doing that. But yeah, so we're going to do tasks.spawn, and we're going to just go uh, function just like this. You don't technically have to do this, to be honest, but I'm just doing it. And we're going to go start, okay? Just like that. Yeah, normally right here, we would do like like service uh, dot in it like this, but we don't have an initialized function. We're using just a normal like global function right here. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's right here. Now, this is what we're going to have to fill out in this video. Um, if you guys are part of the membership, you can just get this code very simple. You don't have to worry about coding. But very simple, just do that and you should be good. Okay, now in here. So what's that doing, guys? By the way, this server script is calling 
the like service module and then we're going inside like service and we're doing this function right here now this start function is literally going to do everything like it's going to initialize the script basically that is it's basically initializer okay um so very simple to do we're going to just fill out um yeah we're just going to fill it out right now so we're going to actually just start with just the basic uh so a while true do so we're just going to create a script that's just always going to keep running we're going to do task.wait and we're going to go config dot pull interval okay so just like that and then we are going to do uh, like service and we're going to do get just like that. So it's always going to be doing this get function right here, which by the way, guys, this is what's going to handle. We're using rope proxy. It's going to handle all the votes and like system. So this is what it's doing right here. It talks about the likes um, and it's milestones. So if you want to go and look into this later, you can kind of read these through yourself, but I'm just going to make this very simple for you guys at the moment. And then we're going to do like service get. Okay. So just like this, same thing again. Um, which we'll talk about, um, but yeah, so it's just making sure we're going and doing this, but also in the wild true do script, we're doing wait for the config pool interval. Okay, so once we do that, there's just one more thing you guys have to add. Um, so if game dot private server ID, okay, it's equal to, uh, you know, I guess you could say blank or nil, then, so what this is going to do is check if they are in a private server. And if they are in a private server, then we're gonna do a like bar dot parent dot parent dot message, dot visible equals false we're gonna go like bar dot parent oh not like service sorry guys like bar dot parent dot parent dot progress bar dot visible equals false and we're gonna go like bar dot parent dot parent dot private server message dot visible equals true okay just like that and then we're gonna do return just like that okay so um yeah, that should work. So what that's what that's doing, by the way, is basically when we run through this at the beginning, if they're in a private server, it's going to just show this private server message, which um, I will talk now about the sign itself if you want to customize it. And then we're going to go into how to actually configure the things that they spawn. So um, also, guys, if you're just wanting this sign for if you're watching this video right now and you're wanting the sign just for your games in general, you can use this. The only thing is you're going to have to get rid of a few things. Honestly, I recommend popping into ChatGPT and just being like, I want to get rid of all this like uh, steal a brain rot stuff. And you can just do the intervals of milestones. So, yes, you can use this for any game, you guys, any game. OK, so. Um, OK, so but going back to this, sorry. Uh, the start. Okay. Yeah. So in actually the sign itself in here, there's the main tab right here. Okay. And we have the main frame. So this has all the stuff. Now, if you want to just customize this, feel free to like, there's a like image. You can go to properties and change that the text, like you guys want to change it to, you know, whatever you guys want to do, you can do that. Now, see how it's like out of frame here. You're going to probably have to change some of the like properties of like the, the size and position. So mess with around with that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it should fit to how it is right now. Um, and yeah, then the message right here. So as you can tell, we have, a, this is the message. There's the required likes, the reward text, and then text one, text two. Um, and we're changing this by the way. So all of this will change automatically through the script. So don't worry about the text that it says right now. Um, and then, yeah, the private server message, if you click visible, it's going to say milestones are unavailable in private servers. OK, and yeah, so I think what it does is it does the message and um, yeah, message would be disabled in progress bar. So it would just say like the game and then it's going to say messages are disabled. OK, um, but yeah, so how to actually do the rewards. So with the rewards and configuration, it's very simple. Um, you're basically going to uh, look at a few things, okay? There are seconds right here. This is every 60 seconds, it changes. Um, keep it like that, guys. I don't recommend changing it. There is a milestone step. So every 10 likes, the milestone will go up, okay? I recommend keeping it the same thing. Honestly, I don't recommend making it like one. You should just do 10. There's no reason to do one. Um, so every 10 likes, it will, uh, you know, display up here. Okay. And then there's a minimum first milestone. So, you know, whatever next uh, set a minimum next milestone for your game is brand new. So yeah, 10. Okay. But of course I, if I play my game, it's going to say 14 or whatever. And actually we can check it right now in a sec here. Um, actually, yeah, that's good to just test it real quick and make sure that we're not missing anything. Um, so yeah, you should be able to test it right now. Okay. Yeah. So see, I actually have zero likes on this game. So it's going to be zero out of 10, just like that. So that's our first goal and milestone. Um, and as you can tell, we have the secret, um, that text is different though, cause that's white. So that's probably why it looks like that right now, but yeah. So, okay. So that's just testing it. Now, when it comes to spawning things, sorry, let's get right into this. Um, so in here we have the rewards. Okay. This is all you need to worry about with this script. Okay. So 
what does this mean? So we have these three tables right here, and then we have a rolling back table, okay? So in these rewards, we have 100, 250, 500. Those are the reward numbers. So every 100 likes, or no, at, when we hit 100, that's a milestone, sorry. When we hit 100 likes, we're going to do this, okay? When we hit 250 likes, we're going to do this. When we do 500, blah, blah, blah. And if you want to make another one, which, you know, of course, later on when your game it blows up, you go here and you put 1,000, and then you go on forward and forward. Um, this is so you don't have to worry about coming back and changing the script. It automatically updates for you guys, okay? Um, and then rolling back right here, this is basically just a default to make sure that everything is, um, is, is set if you need to worry about it. So going into this, I'll explain how these both work, but very simple. I'll go into the rolling. So global equals true. Yes, you want it to be global uh, for everyone. Amount, how many do you want to spawn? We want to spawn one. We don't want to spawn, maybe we want to spawn five. You can do that. Um, so just type in the number there. So what I want you guys to do is go to your server storage and look at your things, okay, right here. So this is where they are listed. So I'm going to just open up default for now. So mutation equals default. So it's going to check inside here and it's going to apply a mutation default. If you want to do a rainbow mutation, you can go in here and uh, change this to rainbow like this, okay? And it's going to go inside these folders, and it's going to find um, whatever name I have down. So uh, chances of one of these guys. And then the reward text is secret, right? So the reason I'm doing that, though, so I want to explain to you guys how this works, is when it comes to things in this whole game in general, so secret right here, the only thing that's... So this is actually wrong right here, okay? So this isn't going to be actually a secret. These aren't even in the secret folder. So what you have to understand is that um, anything that is inside, these are all different characters, you see? They all have different, they're all different rarities, they're all different names, um, different things, okay? So whatever's in the secret folder, so we have secret here, we want to give a chance of one of these two. So to do that, I would say instead, I'd actually say lit cat, and then I'd say right here, I'd say secret lucky block, just like that. And then this is a chance, so it has to add up to 100, um, 75, 25, I could just, if you want to just do one, so you don't want to worry about spawning multiple, you could actually just go like this and just go 100, just like that, like cat. Um, and then, yeah, so secret is what you would put, um, and then default, okay? Um, but yeah, so then right here, it's the exact same thing. So I want to give, at 100 likes, I want to give the lit cat. So the lit cat is rainbow mutation. We want to give him a rainbow mutation, which, guys, these are all the same folders. They're all the same kind of amount of characters, just in the different things, which not the smartest idea, but we'll worry about that later. Um, and then yeah, mutation rainbow, and then we're going to go reward text equals secret. Okay. So secret. Um, so with secret, we basically will go into, um, the folder and make sure it's in there. Now, like I said, right here, so brain rock God, uh, I go into brain rock God. Do I have Tigini Pizzini? Yes. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I do not have that. And there is no diamond mutation. So I would do gold. Okay. And I check, okay. Is it in if I go gold and I wrote Brain Rock God, is it in there? No, it's not in there. So I would go here and I'd say this is going to be the Liddy Cat. Okay. So you guys kind of get the point here. Um, and then, yeah, so Mythic. We'll go down to Mythic and there's Meower. So Meower's in there. So we're good. Um, there's another Mythic for Meower. So yeah. So vice versa. That's how it works. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Um, if you did, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please join the membership if you can. It means so much to me, you guys. And it's really supporting me right now. So thank you, everyone. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope I'm going to try and make videos more entertaining, hopefully. I know these are all educational, so it's kind of hard to do that. Um, but yeah, so basically, very simple as it is. Uh, you don't need to worry about it as much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye-bye.